So I'm at the foot of Victoria Street on the grass market. Uh, there's good news and bad news. The good news is they've closed off Victoria Street to traffic. Uh, the bad news is they don't know what they're doing to the top of it, completely wrecking it. But I'm going to do some little thumbnail sketches first, a quarter of A4, and I'm trying a different approach this time. I'm putting down blocks of colour. And I think what I see here, like the potential for compositions, it's partly, it's a, partly a street of curves, obviously, but also it's on these incredibly uh, different levels. So we're going to be able to get all sorts of interesting perspective, looking up, looking down, and I think I might end up possibly exaggerating perspective. And I'll certainly show you some pictures of um, the English artist John Monocott, who um, specialises really in kind of compressed perspective, squeezing um, panoramic views uh, into his paintings. So firstly what I'm looking at here, I can't quite get, that's going to be my thumbnail sketch, and the view I want to take in goes all almost, well it does, it goes up to the sky, so as I say I'm, I'm compressing things a little bit, which I think is possibly not an unreasonable way of of depicting the experience of Victoria Street. So I'm working with um, just blocks of colour first. So um, there's not a lot of colour actually. I've got some greys for a curving pavement. I wanted to get up as far as the blue sky. So I put down those blue shapes and for the buildings I've uh, some browns and then eventually you know one of the well-known things about Victoria Street are these colorful shops so I might eventually get some color in for them so this thumbnail approach putting down color shapes is not a bad experience as well just for helping you deal with deal with perspective with proportion and I'd recommend that you start with the main colours. So as I've said, for me, that's particularly browns and greys. There are a few shop colours, but it might even be worth holding back slightly on them until I'm sure I've got my proportions working. But just putting down shapes and smudging them allows me quite a lot of flexibility and I think to get this curving street it would be worth also getting this side of the street the buildings on the right a bit of red there so I'm just starting with some shapes like that which I can erase or I can probably start to draw into with a bit of charcoal So we've got this combined kind of exaggerated perspective. I mean, I think even if I were to do true perspective, it's pretty crazy the way the street curves up. But I, as I said, I'm going to try and squeeze more in than I can see unless I lift my head. So that's something of the curves. So we've got this mixture of, as you know, with perspective, lines uh, converge. So we've got converging lines, but they're even more, they converge even more because of the way this part of the city is built. And I think I'm, I'm shortening the building at the top it is actually much higher, but I want to get it in and, and I want to get a bit of sky. So Victoria Street is kind of dizzying, I think, uh, because of all that. So that's what I'll be working with with this one. That gives, gives me a reasonable start to be able to say whether this is going to be a view I want to work with, as well as putting in the 
um, black lines that I just did. It wouldn't do any harm to try a few bits of white as well. Maybe just to clarify where some of those shops are. And I'll probably get something in the thumbnail stage which works because it's not too definite and which might start to fall apart as I get more definite. So I could take from that that I want to just stay with a less definite piece of work. You know, that might be a more satisfying depiction of what I'm seeing and there's really lovely light, there's shadows and light that I think I would like to include. So that's one view, looking up the street and then I'll maybe go up to the top and look down and see what I get then. So I've now gone from looking up to looking down. I'm up on the terrace looking down um, to the bottom of Victoria Street and the Grass Market and looking across to Harriet's. So I think, you know, there's so many different perspectives you can get on Victoria Street. Looking up, looking down, looking across. And I'm increasingly thinking that that's what I want to work with, a uh, perhaps exaggerated perspective. So I'm using the railings at the top of the terrace here and as I did with the other view I've got some grey shapes for the pavement and the road looking down to the monument and then I've got a band of shops and houses and then I've got I think maybe that's a bit bigger and then we've got the, the school against the sky. So I've taken the same approach, just putting down a few shapes and not being too specific so that I can try and make a convincing perspective. And if I am exaggerating the perspective, that's perfectly possible, it's perfectly perfectly possible but in a way you have to be consistent so if I'm going to bend things and compress them then uh, there needs to be a consistency in that so I think working on this very small scale and going from color shapes and trying to define them a bit so I'm just doing that with the charcoal you know, as soon as I make things a little bit more definite, I soon start to discover whether they make sense in relation to each other. If they don't, well then I'll, I'll adjust them. And I'll probably get to a point where I'm not being absolutely truthful, even if I'm being consistent. I've probably still got to force a few things in order to make them work. But because Victoria Street is a street of curves and surprising, surprising combinations of looking down and looking across, I don't think it necessarily has to be untruthful to be making these either exaggerations or adjustments. So that's what I'm working with. I want it to be, I think if it's an experience of the place, albeit exaggerated or distorted, then it could be even more truthful as a result. But certainly making those adjustments, trying to fit things together on a small scale is much easier. And as we looked at with previous themes when you work on the small scale actually it's very easy to to manage the image 
to decide what to include and to decide what kind of importance to give to different parts of the image. And I've kept this bit of railing because it kind of confirms that we're looking down on something. And I need to make that get narrower. So there's a bit of adjusting to do there. So staying with some limited colours and then maybe adding in a touch of um, colour very locally to some of the shops and we've actually got buildings on this side as well. As with our other locations, I will certainly be taking lots of photographs of the different possibilities for those of you that won't be here on Monday. And there's quite a few artists coming to my mind who work with cityscapes and sometimes uh, a distortion, an exaggeration of, of particular townscape architecture and, and viewpoints. So that's the little monument in there. A bit more dark. So there are more other views, but I think I've got to make up my mind now between looking down and looking up. And then I think I'll embark on a, a bigger piece of work, but using the same approach. So I've decided to work with the first view, the looking up, because I felt that that had more potential for distortion, for compressing perspective. Uh, so I'm going to be looking up and I'm going to approach this in the same way. working on a white surface with uh, some colour shapes first of all. So I'm starting with the curve of the pavement. So it's all about simplifying of course. So we're just going to ignore things like street signs and shop fronts and just try and get some of these first shapes in. Actually, a wiser man than me would have actually ignored the real thing and just had a quick look at um, what was in my little study. Oh, never mind. So putting down, this is the Renoir method, putting down colour shapes, smudging them a bit into white paper, letting them blend, particularly along the edges. So what I really like um, is to get in the church steeple. So that's sort of there, but it's actually much higher. So I am going to do, because I've got an aim here, I'm going to make changes which make my aim possible. So I'm going to manipulate that a bit, uh, and that'll also mean can get in a lot more sky or by getting in the sky I am going to create this experience of looking up so it's sort of looking up and looking around the corner so that means I also want to bring in some of the buildings over here you'll see there's all sorts of obstacles Forget the vehicles, I never do vehicles. But I would like to get there's a really lovely feeling of light. I want to get that. So of course, as I said with the little study, as I become a bit more defined, then it gets much trickier because things don't add up. So the more flexible I am at this stage, 
ready to move things, the better. So, you know, if I start with definite lines, I haven't got a chance. But if I can work with fairly loose shapes, then there's much more possibility of adjusting them. So I think the cobbles on the streets are the sort of thing that would probably help me a bit as well for the pavements to make them lie down. So I might go from some simple shapes to looking for places where I can define because I am exaggerating perspective, but we've also got these um, curving, curving lines and, you know, shops that are on different levels. So it does get quite wild. So that's where I'd go with that. And here, for example, I'm discovering, of course, I've not gone high enough for the upstairs. So, I mean, I always knew that this tenement up here was never going to be shown full size. And whether I... I've got to decide about the steeple. Exactly how much I show of it. So that's my first stage, locking in the colour shapes, letting them the edges overlap. And as I say, what's particularly nice today with the sun out is some of the shadows cast by the buildings across the street. So I want to turn my, before I put in many more lines, I want to start really finding some tonal elements to this drawing because that's what interests me and I think this side of the street so I'm just having put down coloured shapes with pastel I'm now adding a certain amount of tone just mixing the um, the charcoal on top and every now and then I come across something and think oh dear that isn't in the right place but I just have to do have to decide can I can I get away with it and I'll probably be sending you um, I think I showed it before an image by the artist Michael Andrews who um, did a painting of Edinburgh Castle which includes Victoria Street and actually he's moved he's moved everything around um, including the position of um, and the position of uh, Victoria Street so if you need any legitimizing of this distortion of perspective there's lots of people out there. So from that point, putting in some tonal shapes, I'm now working a bit with working a bit with um, a few lines, and I'm also going to work with the eraser. So again, it's just gradually backing up some of the first impressions and we've got hundreds of windows and I'll approach them cautiously and then there's the terrace up there with the umbrellas and now these are the sorts of things I've got to decide how much do I want of them what I'd also like what I'm seeing how much it's in your view but we've got street signs which I think would be quite nice so I think I'm going to put in a street sign here 
a one way. So having established all of that in a really limited colour but also just with a suggestion of how the perspective and even how the light is going to work then I might be inclined to add a bit more colour. And from my point of view here the colour is Probably mainly the shop fronts. Uh, but these are smaller areas of colour. So I started with the big areas. And now I'm putting in the smaller ones. And I'll, you know, I could work on, for this, on this for quite a while. Gradually adding... Defining, but also hopefully unpicking some of the definition. Because I think that is probably a better way to work. So if I'm conscious of making everything more and more detailed, I need to find ways of undoing that and working with bigger shapes or putting in a pattern of shadow, whatever it is that's going to allow me to uh, simplify again. So, you know, simplify is what it's all about, it's what it's always about. And, of course, looking for, or remembering, perhaps looking at my study to remember what the, what the particular aim was, what was I trying to convey. And here, although I've worked in a rectangle, I'm trying to convey the sense of looking up and a sense of light. So, as I said, I'll take lots of photographs uh, from all sorts of different viewpoints. Uh, for those of you who aren't able to draw on Monday, to come to the location. And we'll look at some images of perhaps a, a distorted or exaggerated perspective with the, um, with the townscape subject. Okay, so see you tomorrow then. Bye-bye.